So after several uninstall and reinstall attempts, we noticed it wasn't resolving the issue. What we ended up having to do is uninstall the software. Then we navigated to the Windows 10 apps list, scroll down to the e-listings to ensure that all the new Audio Pro sound card software was uninstalled. After we verified all the software components were installed, we restarted the system. And the reason why we have to restart the system because if we go and try to delete the files that we need to delete, it's going to say they're still in use by the software. So we need to flesh out all the volatile memory and unregister the software from the system. After we reboot the system and log back into Windows, we're going to go to the Program Files folder. We're going to look for EVGA underscore Nahemic API. Within that folder, we'll notice there's two files that are remaining behind. They're not being deleted and or recreated with every uninstall and reinstall attempt. Seeing on this system, that's what's preventing the issue from being resolved with the reinstallation of the software. After we delete these two files, we're going to delete the entire EVGA underscore Nahemic API folder altogether. It's going to be recreated when we reinstall the software. Once we delete this folder, we're going to go ahead and reboot the system again just to flush out all the volatile memory and unregister these two files from the rest of the system. After the system is rebooted, rerun the installation package. After the installation process is completed, it's going to say we need to restart the system to finalize the installation. We're going to click yes, and the system will automatically reboot. Once we log back into Windows, the installation process will finalize. And then we can open up the new Audio Pro sound card utility. Right, the first thing we're going to do is select our preferred sample rate. In this case, it's going to default to 32 bit, 44,100 hertz. But we're going to change it to our preferred rate, which is 24 bit, 192,000 hertz. And that's going to match the rest of the audio chain for this system. Once we set our preferred sample rate, we're going to test for functionality of the Nehemic Audio Enhancements. So the first enhancement functionality we'll test are the sound effects. Sound effects here with studio, theater, live, cave, church, and stadium. And they all seem to be working again. And we'll check the software EQ. So everything seems to be working again. So that's how we got the Nehemic audio enhancements working once again in the EVGA new audio pro software. So if you have this issue, you can give this a try, see if it helps on your system as well.